one, Agnes here, and today Neville Nugget number 32. It's from the book Prayer, The Art of Believing by Neville. The only thing that prevents us from making a successful subjective impression on one at a great distance or transforming there into here is our habit of regarding space as an obstacle. Okay, A friend a thousand miles away is rooted in your consciousness through your fixed ideas of him. To think of him and represent him to yourself inwardly in the state you desire him to be confident that this subjective image is as true as if it were objectified, awakens in him a corresponding state which he must objectify. So why am I reading this? Because I've been getting a lot of questions about those of you that have someone that's at a bit of a distance, whether it's an hour away, whether it's a 25 hour flight away and you want to be in relationship to them and you see space as an obstacle. Now, Space is not an obstacle, it is just two locations and you can collapse space and time by imagining them being with you. So, and really, this would apply too if you live in the same city or even in the same neighbourhood and you're staying in two different houses or two different apartments or whatever, there is still that collapsing space and time between you. So, we do have a habit, as Neville says, of regarding space as an obstacle. <clears throat> so what you have to do is practice changing your fixed idea of that, that space is not an obstacle, okay, that you can make over there here through imagination, through focusing and practicing that they are here with you. So you've practiced the ghostly outline of them not being there, so to speak. So the absence of someone in your life is your fixed attitudes of that they are away from you. Okay, so you've got to practice. They are here. Isn't it wonderful? We share such beautiful moments. I love how connected we are. I love how we get together regularly. I love how they always make time for me and I always make time for them. There's enough time linking back into that YouTube I did um, yesterday or the day before about there's not enough time. There is enough time. There is enough time. There is enough love. I love how we connect. I love how we are joining up and meeting at a beautiful coffee shop or having a wonderful meal or going to a movie or sitting on the couch watching Netflix. Whatever it is, you think thoughts of the opposite of space. You bring yourselves together in divine mind, in your mind, okay? So as you do that, you're dissolving the problem of they're over there, I'm over here, and you're bringing the union of the two of you together. Thoughts are things. Emotions are things. They have power. They go out and they create, okay? So to practice, start doing that like I just did, tell a new story which is very much Abraham Hicks focused and then you apply the Neville stuff which is represent him inwardly in the state you desire him to be which is that he's with you or that she's with you, okay? Stop the, the there's space between us, we're never together, I'm in longing, I want to be around them, when does this ever going to happen, it never works for me, stop all that which is not supporting what you want, it's actually bringing more space between you, okay, so good little Neville nugget there, I love how Neville describes this because many of you have asked about you know is space an issue, they're over there, I'm over here, what do I do, how do I you know, on and on. So this is definitely something that's doable and I've done it in my own life so I know that the end result is possible even with a 25-hour flight gap, even with living in another city, even with not being together. It is only your mind that is imagining such things so therefore the universe is out picturing it in your life. So change what you think, change your state, 
feel joy about being together and then it creates it. Okay. Now, oh, one more thing. I'm going to add uh, down below, there's a really lovely series called The Mad Mystic of 48th Street. And I'm going to add that little series. It's a little YouTube series. It's beautiful. It's lovely graphics and everything. Anyway, I'm not going to say any more for those of you that want to do a little bit more Neville. And they're really short bite-sized ones. So enjoy. <laughs>